Good morning YouTube. <clears throat> Today in front of the camera we have a Sanimo Western time switch. Um, I don't know the model number of this one unfortunately. I'll, when we open it up and take a look I'll, I'll show you. Um, now then this time switch is very similar to my Sanimo Western S251 we have here. Um, this one here has got the 24 hour dial um, it's also in a baker light casing the same as this one this one however has got a fairly modern looking red button on there I um, don't know if you could quite see that maybe if I turn this light off you can see that's quite a bright sort of red light there um, as you can see this has got a 24 hour dial on here anyway this one has been shown before so look on my channel videos and you'll see this timer on there back to this one um, this time switch here is currently wired up and running um, it's been running for about a week now and has kept good time it's fully Bakelite housed, as you can see here. Um, now the interesting thing with this one is this has the darker red Bakelite sort of style button on there. Um, it's also, I don't know if you can see that, got a, a hole that goes right the way through it. Um, <clears throat> assuming you could put a, like a, a, a seal that's similar that's used on a meter um, to actually so di it disables this switch. Um, so yeah, let's open it up and take a look inside. The glass, uh, the front cover on this is glass, as you can see there. This one has a seal that goes right the way around it. Um, this was in quite sort of uh, dirty condition, I suppose you could say. Um, when I first got this, it's currently powered up, as you can see there. Um, now this face here, interestingly, is not white like the others I've seen from Sunny My Western. Um, it's silver in colour. Um, it's only got the twelve. It's a twenty-four hour time switch, but it's in. It's just in a twelve, 12 hour format there. Um, the on off togs are all coloured, they've got um, on is in red, off black and the same up here. You've got the on and off in red there, I don't know if you can quite see that. Um, <coughs> we've got a day emit wheel there, um, it's got time actually written on the, the clock, but it's also got solar written on the side here, I don't know if you can see that. Um, so anyway, let's switch this off. Switched off and unplugged. Um, we'll pull this out and have a look inside. Just a free pin base, this one. Um, got your earth wiper just there. Um, again, this is in good clean condition. Um, the contacts on here are slightly different. Um, the other sort of Sanimo time switches I've seen have, have had the screws that are actually recessed into the back there and, and not big screws like this. So this is a very slight difference. Got the wiring diagram in the back there, uh, live in, neutral in and switch live out. And of course you've got your earth terminal here that goes on the side here. So let's have a look at the time switch itself. Um, it's, it's got one of these synchro motors on here. It's not. It's not like the <coughs> the other one I have here that I'm uh, currently do, trying to do a restoration project on the S three five nine. 
again we've got time written on the other side here um, STD up here now the interesting thing about this one is that it's got two fuses um, one on the live contact to the synchromotor and one on the neutral um, I don't quite know why it's got two fuses on there um, in theory it shouldn't really need the one on the neutral connection there um, these are 500 milliamps fuses the same as the other time switches that I have the interesting thing is it's also got two spares I've yet to clean these up these will clean up very well <coughs> just a little bit of corrosion on there um, all metal gear train you can see there um, looks very well looked after this one originally um, uh, day of mitt wheel there the only plastic tog this has got in there is this one here um, and it's got the painted little dots on there I don't know if you can see that uh, this is to show um, the, the clock running so you can just have a quick glance at it let's have a look at the nameplate here Sanimo Western Limited Enfield in England um, it's 20 amp 200 to 250 volts at 50 hertz oscillation frequency the number it's got here is 340013 um, I'm assuming this is the model number um, of maybe 340.013 uh, it's just an assumption um, the type is um, SSZ whatever that means um, there's no number on there um, uh, there's no property details on there either um, so yeah good good working time switch this one um, let's just take the other one out of the case for a minute and have a look at the some of the differences we got. Um, if I start with the time switch itself, um, the nameplate, um, you see the nameplate on this one here. Um, if I just try and get them both into view at the same time, there we go. Um, the actual, will you sit there? No, I don't want to sit. Okay. As you can see, this one has got the S351.14.12. Oops, sorry, you're out of focus. Um, there we go. And that's written up here. Let me turn this light on. Okay, hopefully you'll be able to see that better now. It's very hard to pick up on the camera. There we go. Um, this one's got a number of 730972. Um, pretty much the same nameplate as on this one, except for the, the fact it hasn't got the actual number, the, the model number. Um, this one doesn't have the type number on there like this one has. Um, so if you've got any thoughts on what model number this could well be, uh, numbers we've got on here are the, on the synchromotor itself is Sanimo patient, no, sorry, patent numbers uh, three seven seven six nine six. We've got a long kind of dash there. Um, three eight four eight eight zero. And then it's just got the voltage rating of the synchromotor there. If we could get that in, it's very difficult to actually get on camera here. Yeah, it's a little bit better. So, there we have it. Uh, slightly unknown time switch model, this one. Um, the number we've got up here is 340013, which is the same. Um, I don't know if you can see this on camera or not. Um, the colour difference—it's very difficult to see. It's even difficult to see in daylight, to be honest. 
this is actually got like a white painted finish to the face here um, <clears throat> and this one's only got this one doesn't seem to have paint on it at all just painted numbers uh, if it is finished in paint then it's only like a silvery type paint uh, so there we have it, there's not a lot more to say about this except that it's got the two off togs and two on togs so on twice a day sort of arrangement you've got the little window here sorry about that um, you've got the little window here to show you the contacts um, and that's all there is to it really, this one um, if I just get the the two bases in shot here this is the this is the original one I had running. Um, this is the other base. You can see how different they are. The pins are pretty much laid out exactly the same. It should, in theory, fit, but you can see the the screws are a lot smaller. The grub screws there to hold the wire in. Um, also, the earth terminal there is made of brass. Um, this one has got some kind of upper alloy metal on there. Um, it'll be interesting to see if this time switch does actually fit in here. Um, so I'll just give it a try. And yes it does. This time switch will fit in there like that. So there we have it. <coughs> Um, if you've got any ideas on the model number, then please do let me know. Thanks for watching.